back to another vlog. It is Tuesday, which means it's baking day today. Um, for most decorators, Monday is what we call an admin day, which is emails, client drawings, make, just catching up, making sure everybody's happy with everything. Tuesdays are baking days, Wednesday is ganaching and covering, and then Thursdays and Fridays are usually decorating days, with Saturday and possibly Sunday being delivery days. I have two cakes this week, one is The Walking Dead and one is Zelda themed. However, The Walking Dead cake is actually for Friday collection, which means I had to bake yesterday the day on Monday. I'll show you how that one's looking so far. So this pile of hot mess at the moment is the Walking Dead cake which is supposed to look all rough and rugged because we're going to be making a hill with like rocks with like a rock effect. There's a particular scene I'm recreating um, so spoiler alert if you haven't watched it yet you might want to listen to the next part but it's the bit where Rick finally meets Negan underneath the tree with the stained glass windows on. Um, and like I said, this one needs to be ready for Friday, hence why it was baked yesterday. So we're going to decorate this one today as much as I can. And I'm also baking the cake ready for the Zelda cake, which is being delivered on Saturday. But first, a cup of tea. So I just went into the fridge. Um, yesterday I had... Uh, ham crackers for dinner. Adam said, why didn't you have cheese and crackers? I said, I couldn't, couldn't be bothered to cut the cheese up, so I just had ham crackers. Look what I just found in the fridge. It's cut up cheese for me. It is just too hot to do baking today. Even my eye bags are sweaty. So while the airbrushed cake was drying, I have baked four chocolate cakes, two lemon cakes. My kitchen is attached to my conservatory, so it is like a sauna in there at the moment. So I retreated to the living room where it's a bit cooler and done some more admin. I think people think this job is just like making cakes, but the admin probably takes up just as much time as making the cakes do. So the emails include like new orders coming in, people inquiring about cakes, you have to give your prices out, already existing customers wanting to talk through their design and you updating all their flavours on their forms. And then you also have the business side of it, which are people asking if you want to collaborate on things, people asking if they can copy your design, and I've just done a couple of emails where it's like somebody wants to use your YouTube videos and then you have to read through a giant agreement. It's basically just saying that they're allowed to post it and that, but I still own the copyright. But you have to read through all that, sign it, send that back off. And I've just collected Abby from school. So pretty much it's 20 to 4 and I've airbrushed, covered and airbrushed a cake, baked six cakes and done emails and it's taken me all day. But whilst I've got my order forms out, I'll just show you what actually. I don't actually have any spare ones, uh, empty ones. I need some more printing out. And um, this is a very old order form. I'm just showing you this one because it hasn't got much information on it yet. But, let's see. So up here we've got the name of the customer and their, either their email address or phone number, the date that they've ordered the cake for the shape and size of the cake, so if it's a three tier, two tier, order specs, such as the um, theme, maybe certain characters they want on there, the name of the birthday girl or birthday boy, their age, the flavours that they've chosen, so I just ring those. Notes are if it need, if they've hired a stand maybe, or special notes that I need. Maybe it needs delivering for a certain time. Delivery location, so that's the address. And then down here is how many miles that delivery is and how much it costs. Area for the colour scheme. The budget, whether they've got a budget or the quote that I've given them. The deposit that they've paid and then the total price which is the delivery and the cake and this is what I use when I do all my tax stuff I can literally just look at that number and I know how much that entire cake has cost I like to keep them this size otherwise I would just have a giant stack of paper if they were all on A4 so I try to keep them as small as I can I keep them all bunched together um, with these little clips these orders in this bunch are all orders that are 2019, 2020, 2021 uh, how far do they go? Yeah, 2021. I have these ones in a pink clip. 
which either require something that needs ordering for that specific design such as a topper or I need to draw the doodle up and then I just have the loose ones which are all orders for this year that I can quickly flick through them and they all fit nicely in a little um, like a letter rack that I just got from B&M and I keep them on my desk at the side of the computer so when somebody emails me and say can I change the size of this I just quickly flick through all the orders pick theirs out amend it and then shove it back in. When it comes to making the cakes I can just pick pick their order forms out take them through to the kitchen so I know what flavours I'm baking and I can constantly check that I'm making things right have I spelt the name right? Have I got the age right? And when they're finished, they go in one of these drawers behind me here where all my receipts are. When it comes to do the dreaded tax return, time for another brew though before I start on that cake again. I won't have long to do it before I then have to break off and start making tea for when Adam gets home at six o'clock. I don't know about you though, but I always get starving around about three o'clock, especially when you have to wait for six o'clock to eat your tea. One of these naughty takeaway biscuits that they sell in Aldi's. got back from the school run and um, today is Wednesday which means it's ganaching day. I usually do some ganaching after baking day which is Tuesday so Tuesday night I usually do like one quart or two quarts of ganache and then I finish them off Wednesday morning. The kitchen is a mess. I just get chocolate everywhere and what should have been two cakes this week is now three. So I got an email yesterday um, from a photographer she's putting a shoot together and is looking for a dummy cake in the theme that she's working with. I won't say anything just in case it's a secret. So I have to go and see what dummies I've got and see if I can pull something together for next week. And I've also got to break off work today because Abby has a consultation with the dentist and um, she's got to have one of her teeth out so we've got to go off to that. Adam's booked half a day off um, again to run her to a consultation. Um, I can drive but I can't drive so I have passed my test so I can legally drive but I can't actually drive. I would literally kill somebody. Just do the school run, I go there and back and I can make it to Tesco's and back but that's it. If I have to go anywhere out of the local area or down tiny streets or around massive roundabouts or in certain lanes, there's no chance. I would literally crash into somebody. So although I have a driving license, people still have to drive me places, which is ridiculous. But my driving instructor, and probably most driving instructors, they teach you what you need to pass, and then when you've passed, you forget all that, and they don't actually go into depth of lanes and who has right of way. I nailed all my manoeuvres every single time. I reversed into spaces, I parallel parked, but what they did is they said, turn your wheel until the logo faces this way. Or when you see a line, line up with this part of the window, start turning your wheel, which is completely fine if you're driving in the car that you're learning in. But it doesn't kind of work in your own car. So it was completely useless. I spent a couple of thousand pounds on driving lessons just to drive to the school and back. Anyway, I'll show you where I got up to with the Walking Dead cake. So I airbrushed the rock effect which is now dried. When you first spray it, it looks really shiny, it doesn't look much like a rock, but it, it does dry a bit more matte. Um, obviously I've got to airbrush all the grass, that's all just fresh sugar paste that hasn't been shaded or anything, and neither has the tree. Um, I've left this to dry overnight so it's not as wobbly. I think you'll have seen when I was working on it, it can get quite wobbly, but it's not too bad now that it's dried. I have to hang two stained glass windows from this and put on um, Negan and Rick, and then possibly some zombie body parts and the name and the age, um, so that's ready for Friday. So let's see how far we can get today. <laughs>
morning. It's actually Thursday today. Um, I'll give you an update of what went on yesterday. So we set off to take Abby to a consultation. Um, arrived at the desk, gave her the letter, said we've got an appointment. She said, oh, the address has been printed on wrong. You shouldn't be here, you should be about another 30 minutes away. So obviously we couldn't make that appointment. So she said, I'm really sorry, but I'm going to have to remake another appointment for next week. Um, so we just had to come away. So literally drove there and back for nothing and Adam took half a day off for nothing, but it happens. So I got back, worked on the Walking Dead cake and that is almost finished now. It's been collected tomorrow. So I'm just going to finish that this morning and then start on the Zelda cake. I think I'm going to turn the Zelda cake into a tutorial. So you won't see any time lapse of that in the video because I'll be using the camera to film the tutorial. But I've done the school run, it is nine o'clock in the morning. And I'm knackered. I'm just not a morning person anymore. It doesn't matter what time I go to bed. I usually go to bed between 10 and 11. I'm not up till one o'clock in the morning. Sometimes I am when I'm baking and decorating. Um, but I'm usually in bed 10, 11 o'clock. But it doesn't matter what time I go to bed. I always wake up absolutely knackered because my mind, it just dreams constantly. And I wouldn't mind if they were like nice dreams and you wake up, but they are so random and I'm just wake up absolutely knackered. Last night's fabulous dream was me attempting to shove shrimp and spinach into a water balloon. What is that? Why would anybody do that? I would love to know what those dream analysis when they read dreams and try and tell you what they mean. What does that mean? Shoving shrimp and spinach into a balloon. So thanks for that brain, I am completely knackered today. Right, I better get on with some work then. You know how I said Thursdays are decorating days? Well today it's turned into a ganache day again. Came to my double barrel tier, which just means a very tall tier, to find it looked like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. The ganache is so soft, it hasn't set at all. I've had to strip it completely, I could literally just peel the ganache off in soft little chunks. So now I'm having to make a new batch of ganache. Um, I've put some extra chocolate in, in the hope that it'll set. But that just leaves me with today ganaching and only one day tomorrow to decorate the whole thing. This is how it currently looks. Just had to scrape all the ganache off, cover it up ready for its other layer of ganache. This one's chocolate orange. I am absolutely sweating buckets. I've got the fan going and um, we don't have aircon just in case anybody's wondering and watching who aren't in the UK, we don't have aircon. Looks like it's gonna be a late nighter, hopefully when it's a bit cooler. Haven't recorded much today. Um, I've been getting this Zelda cake finished. So I've been using this camera to do the tutorial for it. Um, it's five o'clock. Um, I've still got um, a figure to do for it. 
um, and the rest of the painting on it because it's being delivered tomorrow. This is where I'm up to with it at the minute. So I've just popped the top tier on and I'm just waiting for the ganache to set um, so this top tier doesn't slide around. Um, but I've painted Link on there with his bow and arrow. How many of you thought this was Zelda? <laughs> this is Link from Zelda. Um, so that's just been hand painted on. Obviously you'll see the tutorial come out. It'll be a couple of weeks because um, the tutorials go up every Tuesday and the one scheduled for next Tuesday I believe is a summer solstice themed wedding cake um, so this will be a couple of weeks after that I should think um, the board still needs painting um, and these little bits here and then um, a figure on top to finish that as obviously the name and the age need to go on it as well can you hear that? my daughter is the biggest live mouth in the world is upstairs. I get woken up with that mouth every morning. Oh, another really random thing for today. Um, I spotted loads of things, like links on the internet. Um, the f like in the UK, the Food Standards Agency have recalled loads of bags of veg. So if you've got any like frozen veg, check out the links and stuff. But it's affected uh, Tesco's, Aldi's, Lidl's. Um, I think there's a couple of other places and it's usually like the frozen veg or frozen sweet corn. Recalled it because apparently they found listeria in it. Um, we ate that veg last night. Literally found the link about an hour after we'd already all eaten it. If I don't make that cake delivery tomorrow, it'll be death by sweet corn. Seriously though, check your freezers. We usually have bags of veg hanging around just to pop on with your tea. Apologies for the short video for Friday, but uh, I need to get this cake finished. So I'll see you tomorrow.
busy one today. He made the delivery this morning. Um, come back, delivered my niece's birthday card because it's her birthday today, so we dropped that off at her house. Then we nipped to Great Harwood to Legend Bridal Designs. Um, you'll have seen the gorgeous dresses. The lovely Charlotte took care of um, one of my dummy cakes and took it down to a photo shoot. Um, would have been last week, two weeks ago. Um, and the shoot has already taken place so then I went just to collect it. Unfortunately I can't show you that cake until um, the autumn. It's what I used all those sprinkles on from the last vlog. Then we had the genius idea of doing the food shop today instead of tomorrow because the football was on and the supermarket was dead. It was great. So we've just got back, put all the shopping away, we're going to make some tea, I think it's chicken and chips. And then I'll probably actually get to put my feet up and watch a bit of Netflix. I need to find something new to watch on that actually. So if you've got any um, ideas of series to watch, throw them my way. We, um, we just finished watching The Alienist, that was good, but only one season. So we also watched um, a series called Glitch. I think that was also either one or two series and we've watched that. We have binged on all the um, the true crime documentaries. We love those. To make myself like, sound like a complete weirdo, we love the murders. We've watched um, The Staircase. If you haven't watched that one, that's a good one. The Staircase, it's very much like Making a Murderer and The Keepers. Evil Genius was another one. Some quite good ones on Netflix at the moment. Let me know what you like watching on Netflix. We, we definitely need something new to get our teeth into. I'm so excited to sit down. I'm going to sit down with a beer and the telly. There's no doubt you'll have gathered by now. We work seven days a week and often don't finish till nine o'clock, ten o'clock at night. But today was my last delivery, which means it frees up tomorrow. I do still have that dummy cake to make for the shoot that's happening next week. So I don't really have a day off, but I kind of do. I'm not sure what we're doing yet. So you and me will find out what we're doing tomorrow.
I look like a complete mess right now um, but I've had a shower and just let my hair dry so it's all frizzy I think my makeup melted off in like five minutes flat today we had a look around the car boot sale this morning then come home and Adam made us a giant breakfast and we went for a walk just like in the local area um, nipped to the park got back had kebabs for tea and some um, fruit kebabs and then I was gonna sign the vlog off I find my computer broken. And by broken, I mean when the welcome screen comes up and you go to click on your little icon, it wasn't loading. Nothing would load, it keeps saying error, error. It wasn't anything to do with the password, it just wouldn't load. And I can remember vaguely doing it some years ago and it took forever to fix. So it's taken me two hours to fix it tonight. Followed all the different instructions, neither of which work, to make several new accounts to copy all the information from the corrupted account into a new one. But it's sorted. I've had to like redo the whole desktop and do all my bookmarks again and it's just taken two hours. So I just thought I'd sign it off. Not even sure if you find these useful or entertaining, but there you go, I enjoy editing them. But I am sitting down, watching some Netflix and the week starts again tomorrow. I'll see you in the next one guys, bye.